What's up guys, Max here at RC Window Films. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about low E uh, glass meters and what we use them for and why they're important. So one of the most important things to do is in any job is to identify what are you working with? So when we're working with glass, we wanna identify is there a low E coating present? Do we have a strengthened glass? Strengthened being tempered or hardened glass? Do we have annealed glass? Do we have laminated glass where it has a plastic coating much like your windshield? And one of the tools that we use on a daily basis here at RC Window Films is the Glass Check Elite. Now this is manufactured by a company called EDTM. You can find a lot of their products online. Instead of just coming in and applying film or the common question that we get is, hey, can I install window film on dual pane windows? Certainly, you just have to be able to identify where low E coating is present and what type of glass you currently have. With these meters, they're able to identify if you have a single silver, double silver, triple silver, and now quad silver uh, low E coatings on which surface of the glass, one, two, three, or four, and then obviously when you have triple pane windows, etc., that's a double pane. What sort of laminate is in there? Is it a 0 .030, 0 .060? Different thicknesses of the laminate itself can also determine the type of film that you can install and whether we're able to install interior films or exterior films and how they impact the glass unit itself. Knowing the glass structure, the low E coatings, and the laminate, as well as whether it's annealed or tempered, is vital in applying the right type of film for your needs. So let's talk about our meters. So one of the first things we're gonna do is we're gonna use our Glass Check Elite. This unit can tell us the air gap, glass thickness actually of each panel, uh, if there's a low E coating present and where that low E coating is present to include laminates. So it'll actually give us the thickness of the laminates as well and where they're present within the glass unit. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on our lighting and you can actually see maybe on camera, a slight purple iridescence. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and test this unit. Now, this says that this is a soft coat low E. I'm gonna place it on the glass unit and it's gonna take a reading, bam. Now, one of the interesting things that this tells me is if you notice right here, let me go back up, right here, it is blinking. And that blinking tells me that's where the low E coating is present. G1 and G2 is indicative of the glass thickness of each one and a half inch air gap. So A right here stands for the air gap that's present. So a half inch air gap. So we've got three fourths glass, half inch air gap, eighth inch and eighth inch. So how you meter glass is also very important. The way that you wanna take and use your meter is from the outside of the glass. And that's really the way that this unit is actually set up is to test it from the outside. When you can't, you just have to inverse your reading. So when I'm actually metering it from this side and it says that there's a low E coating present on surface two, and it'll actually tell you on the unit surface two, that's actually considered surface three. So the way that contractors, glazing companies, and window film companies look at glass is from the exterior looking in. Exterior is always surface one, then surface two on the interior portion, three and four. Four being the surface you can touch from the inside. So once we identify that a low E coating is present, then we can determine through a film to glass checklist, which is usually provided by the manufacturers, where the film can be applied. And the reason for this is so some films have high absorption rates and low E is essentially the same thing. Low E is a substrate's ability to absorb energy. So that glass unit gets very hot and it essentially holds the heat on that particular unit. Through expansion and contraction, you can actually cause a thermal fracture if you apply a film that absorbs too much heat as well on the same surface. So now you're going to overexpand if you apply film to the wrong side or a side that currently has a low E coating that's present. A lot of mumbo jumbo, but ultimately it comes down to this. It's important to identify one, where the low E coating is present, the thickness of the glass, whether there's a laminate or not. And one of the tools that we highly recommend that you get or use or make sure that your contractor is using is a low E glass check elite. This unit is vital in identifying the type of glass that you have and making sure that you apply film to the correct side of the glass. 